Welcome back. Today's little job is a new headlining in an early California. Let me turn around and show you why we're changing the headlining on this van. As you can see, the, the cloth has come away from the, the cardboard trim. Uh, the customer came to me and asked if I could recover it, but I've learned from experience doing little headlinings like this, if available, it's just a lot easier to go buy a brand new one from the dealer, which he did do, went off down the dealer. I said, if you get the part, do all the legwork, I'll just fit it for you. Um, so he's gone off, he's got the headlining. I asked him how much it was. He said just over 300, so maybe 320, 330. Brand new headlining. And um, let's start getting some of these trims out and uh, I'll cut back in and show you how we do. So I've never done one of these before, or not on a California, I've changed plenty of headlinings. Um, so the, all the normal stuff that's on a panel van is easy to come out. When I, It's hard to film it because you need two hands when you're trying to unclip everything. But as I put it back together, I'll show you how I took the bits off, especially on an older van. All these bits of plastic are so brittle, you've got to be so careful when you're removing them that they don't snap them. So this is a bit I've not done before, and it's just taken me a second to suss it out. There's a little cap on the end. It's riveted in, undone the rivets, get the cap off, and then you can see I need to lift this up, probably take the whole trim off, and the headlining sits in there like that. So I was a bit nervous at first, but I was confident this was how it was done. Because I looked at the new headlining and the new headlining had the holes. So I was like, right, those rivets have got to come out. Drill them off, get this off. It looks like it's glued on as well. So I'm just easing it, put a bit of WD on there. And then um, I'll have it, I'll have it out. So it's just lifted off. Um, I sprayed a little bit of WD down the down the channel, a bit of tape to protect the, the the painted edge, and just carefully did that with my trim tool, and then it lifted straight off. Okay, old one, new one. Now can I get this in without breaking it or getting fingerprints all over it? Well, let's get some gloves on. Get this clipped in and uh we'll show you what we do next sorry for the poor lighting but it's just started to rain and i've had to um bring the van back in the shed but as i said i just thought i'd show you so these little covers just snap on and oh there we go and then that one if you're ever doing one that little recess goes at the top. Oh, you can't do things with one hand, can you? So that's back on. But to get them off, it is tricky. I've got a little trim tool. I've shaved it so it's really pointy. And you've just got to get it under there and just tweak it off, tweak it off. That wasn't too bad for me because I was getting a new headlining. So it didn't matter if I damaged the headlining um, before stripping it out to do something else. It's quite tricky. But anyway, the job's done. There one, I'm just building it all back up. Um, just got that to do and then wait for it to rain so I can put the little caps back on the end with some rivets. So that's it, all finished. Um, sorry again for the poor light, but it's lashing down rain and I'm inside my shed. Um, it's all in, it's back. Um, well, makes them trims look a bit yellow now, but that could be a job for another day. Well, that's one headlining successfully fitted. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please ask away. 
Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.